Sati Ka, everybody. Today we are reunited with Dan Bangkok, Danny and Diggy, and we brought some more friends along the way to explore Bangkok in a little bit of a different way. Today we are going to be exploring Bangkok in one of these jewels here. Uh, it's called the Tok Tok Boat. Uh, so it's a more traditional type of wooden boat and it's going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to explore the backwaters of Bangkok. Yeah guys, so we're currently at Ban Ploen Di restaurant and it's situated directly here on one of these little clongs or canals and we're very excited to hop onto these tuk-tuk boats and do a little bit of an exploration. There's roughly around 10 of us joining this tour today so this is going to be certainly a fun packed day. Right now it is roughly around 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon so thankfully it's not going to be too hot for much longer. The sun is currently beating down and a lot of us are feeling pretty, pretty hot and sweaty but um, I think it's going to be amazing later on in the evening while we're out on this boat and catch that beautiful sunset over Bangkok as well. And this is the current setting for us right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. All right, you guys, our boat just arrived so over excited. there. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, you guys, our boat just arrived over there, as you can see. We also have this beautiful pond here full of fish. And uh, on the boat provided is some water and ice, from what I understood. And we just uh, bought some beers as well for the boat itself, so that we have uh, some nice drinks on the boat. And uh, as you can see, this is our beautiful boat! I cannot wait! Ready for an adventure, guys. We're gonna hop on this boat and uh, we've no idea, to be honest, what is actually about to happen, but I think it's gonna be an adventure! Yeah. Dan the man uh, planned it all. Here's the man who planned it. And uh, as always, we are just coming along. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. We're super unorganized as always, but I'm sure it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day. I'm going to try and somehow get into this world. Can you take my uh, cup? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do you get in here without dying? Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh my god, it's all made out of wood. Check this out. And it's wonky back and forth. It's super beautiful. Very nice. Very nice, I like. So excited. <laughs> we have actually two friends that we met as well along our travels. We actually met them in India from the UK. We're with Rick and Rachel. Say hi guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure. Because there's two guys. Oh my god. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's so chaotic, it's really cool. <laughs> Everybody's just hitting their heads everywhere. <laughs> What is the captain's name? Okay, I'm going to introduce like their the captain. So guys, like please say hi to the captain. Her hi, name is Peter Ryu. Peter Ryu. Hi, hi, captain. Peter Ryu is a boat driver. Uh, she's been driving this for more than 20 years. Right, so I just want to give you guys like a little bit of introduction about uh, the cruise back into town. So my name is Om. Like Om, when you meditate, that's my name. Sorry, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> like showering. Like, yeah. like you went for a swim. I know, right? <laughs> this house is like behind you guys. Like the, back then, there were rich people. Um, the reason why I said that because back then boat was the main transportation. Yeah. Um, during 1960, Americans put a lot of money to Thai governments because they want us to build a road to Laos to Vietnam. So we spend the money to build a street. So after that, we start to move from the water to the land. Okay. When we start to move from the water to the land during 1960 to 70s, uh, the people start to build a house face to the street, not face to the water anymore. You see our houses, like they face the entrance, face to the water. Uh, right now, like the car and scooters became 
uh, the main transportation. Yeah, when the main transportation chain life changed. Um, today we're gonna cruise back into Bangkok 1960. Okay, um, it's kind of like a hippie time. Okay, um, in 1970s we got tap water. Is that amazing? We just got tap water in 1970s. Ooh. My grandma generation, she oh, used to bring it. this water to cook. She boil it first to eat, and also she shower here, uh, wash dishes, wash her clothes here. So I think there are a couple of reasons why like there in this past like 20 years canal became a little bit dirty because you, when you guys think about like the backyard, right? You put everything in the backyard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so canal used to be a front yard. Normally we clean up the front yard. But then when canal became backyard, people start to throw the trash to the canal. Anyway, so this is like the, called like the long tail boat. Now let's go first. Yeah. So the long tail boat became super famous because it's so fast and also like in 1980s long tail boat James Bond's the movie they came to Thailand and then they shot on their long tail boat and then the Nicolas Cage like Bank of Dentures and then that reputation when the tourists come to Thailand they like to take that one it's called like the James Bond's boat yeah but our boat is called like the traditional wooden boat you cannot find like this type of teak wood anymore yeah so which is like owned by Piliu and Piliu's fathers. This kind of boat, like we pass, it's like into generation to generation. How many years? What do you guys think? That's what I wanted to ask. How old is this boat? Uh, generations with several generations have owned yeah, it uh, Two generations, like from her dad to her. Yeah. She's been going 20 70? years. 70s? Yeah. Correct, yeah. About 70 oh, years. Oh. Not gonna sing today, guys. <laughs> anyway, let's have fun, guys. Grab the train. Just went yeah. past this we little like group of kids, and, and they were actually swimming in the, the yeah. in the yeah. water yeah. itself. Yeah. It's super interesting to see that because a lot of people in general will say that this is very dirty, but most kids, most kids were having the time of their life you in see, that you water. Don't wear it was really, really yes. nice to see that. <laughs> but this is such a beautiful and serene setting, and these houses are absolutely gorgeous too. I feel like that's because. We know like we're gonna see this guy only like... Do you have like garbage collection on the river as we well? We do have um, on Monday to Saturday. Yeah, in the morning. They come to collect the garbage. Yeah. yeah. And this house... Do they scoop it out of the water? Or just uh, they try scoop, they yeah. scoop it from the... Uh, but it, like when they open like the, the water lock and then a lot of trash came from Chopia River come inside. So, and then they, they pick up in the morning. Yeah. This house like belongs to one of the big media, like the newspaper guy in Thailand. Wow. The Teakwood house. Teakwood? Yeah, the Teakwood. Very can't expensive. Buy, think, yeah, very yeah. expensive. Wow, look at this. Ooh, I nearly got hit by a tree. But I'm currently standing on the very front of this boat. And this is absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. Have a look. Hello. Wow. Out of this world. I don't know how well you can see around me, but the view is unbelievable. And it's such a serene and beautiful setting here on this boat. I'm gonna kneel down here. We actually have bean bags on the front of the boat itself. And it's just, I can't even describe just how beautiful this is, guys. Wow. And seeing these boats here, the other boats that are passing by every now and then just adds such a fantastic extra dimension to, to the entire experience and all of the people that are the captains of these boats they're all so happy and smiley and friendly and this is why we love Thailand this is why we love Bangkok you get experiences like 
you can't get anywhere else really in the world and not only that not only do you get these fantastic experiences but you get the incredible people the people of thailand are some of the most genuine some of the most the happiest they call it the land of smiles for a reason and i can see why and we can see why we absolutely are falling in love with Thailand day by day it gets deeper and deeper with the connection that we have with the people of this country and the country in general it's absolutely one of a kind so unique so special blown away now, there's a lovely woman here that seems to be selling some souvenirs that is coming up here to the boat thank you Swati Kab. Hello. So she seems to be basically selling a bunch of different items that you can choose from and it's very interesting to see because they literally just float up along side the boat unfortunately um, Naomi is all the way back there and she has the money so I don't know maybe she might be interested in a fan or something but yeah the sun is still beating down pretty heavily right here this is an absolutely incredible experience unlike anything we've ever experienced before check out this beautiful situation here we are currently going really slow and uh, obviously now we are on one of the older boats so one of the more traditional boats it's not one of those speedy uh, long boats so we have sort of like a very enjoyable uh, slower stroll along the river and uh, Mr. Ome actually just said that if you were to get off here uh, you would be at Icon Siam within 10 minutes if you were to take a taxi for example but this just doesn't feel like Bangkok at all like check this out oh, there's Luke <laughs> This is just absolutely beautiful. It's so tranquil, it's really relaxed. It just feels like a different world. It doesn't feel like Bangkok anymore at all. It's so removed from the hustle and bustle of inner city Bangkok. It's really, really special, absolutely beautiful. Can you believe like a few years back this was like the main entrance of the house and uh, so before all of the streets got connected so to speak um, the river entrance was the main entrance of the house and was considered basically the front yard the river is the front yard of the house and uh, where the streets now are connected would be the backyard and uh, now obviously it's uh, the other way around we're currently going under a bridge um, so now it's the other way around now this river is considered their backyard which you can see so uh, the houses are not as open anymore towards the river but it's super super cool to see um, the older traditional houses around here it's really beautiful yeah. beautiful temples everywhere like image like houses second. everywhere guys like cheers with that guy cheers cheers order order which one which one cheers <laughs> We're having a Titanic moment here, guys. We're feeling like Jack and Rose on a canal boat yeah. in Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs> There's no icebergs here, don't worry. <laughs> but maybe we're gonna ram a monitor lizard on our way here. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. There's a white bird. Oh, a little white bird. All of these houses are incredible. They're literally mostly made out of wood, even though they're right next to the water. But the wood is such a high quality and such solid craftsmanship that it doesn't even matter that they're on the water. Yeah, Mr. Om said actually that the majority of them, I think, are made with teak. So uh, they're a bit more sturdy, I want to say. Durable. <laughs> Durable. So we actually just went past the temple along the canal and it turns out that you are not allowed to fish outside the temple 
we saw a lot of people actually feeding fish and because they were throwing stuff into the water there was literally swarms or schools of fish just kind of going crazy having a little bit of a feeding frenzy in the water so cool to see that and uh, the sun now seems to be it's coming up to roughly around 5 30 p.m now so we've only been on the boat now for just under an hour but it is unbelievable it's so nice and it's starting to get a little bit cooler now as well i think i actually have a little bit of sunburn but such a special and unique experience definitely a must do if you are visiting bangkok we recommend this wholeheartedly every single link for doing this tour will be in the description of this video of course hidden tours bangkok you can find them all over social media especially go and follow them on instagram and that is a very good way for you to reach out to them and do this tour as well this is so cool and everybody is having a really good time in the back we brought plenty of beer and uh, yeah doesn't get much better than this guys now we seem to be coming into a bit of an area right now where it's a little bit less residential and there's plenty of greenery and it's definitely sort of like i guess you could call it old um bangkok the guy mr ohm the leader of this tour basically said we're going to go back into like 1960s bangkok and you can really feel that aesthetic here as we're floating down this canal it's absolutely just perfect all right well i have to show you the map i don't know if oh, now yeah. um let's say i, I show you forget the map where we are right now is the canal but actually it is the main river not now maybe 150 or 200 years ago um, it used to be a longer way this direction but when the king realized there are other shortcut they dug up new canal and that's where Chapya river right now they just go right in there so where you're traveling right now this is the real thailand wow that's so cool it feels like we're back in the 60s yes we are it's amazing <laughs> You guys, check out this Buddha, it's 69 meter tall. He's so big and it's the biggest Buddha in Bangkok from what I understood. Um, there might be bigger ones in Thailand probably, but uh, yeah, it's the biggest one here in Bangkok. And uh, wow, he's so big. Like it's, it's absolutely massive. You cannot imagine, I feel, we feel so tiny sitting here. It's crazy. just sort of like casually just on the canal cruised past a 69 meter tall statue of Buddha and that is out of this world it's crazy to even comprehend just how much work would have went in to build that that is just crazy the scenes all along this tour so far have just been incomprehensible it's beauty like nowhere else so 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 special something that we will never forget for sure it is i'm just constantly in a state of speechlessness at this point we keep seeing there's so many fish it's insane like i said earlier the canals and rivers a lot of people describe them as being a little bit on the dirtier side but there's so much life going on in the water it's crazy <laughs> look at this this is otherworldly it's truly just stunning you're gonna get a nice view of both of the buddhas so we're turning around now and you should get both in the camera shot oh oh my god 
That is beautiful. It's incredible. The stupa and you got the two brothers as well. That's amazing. That is so cool. We're doing a little break <laughs> at the temple. Check this out, guys. It's so beautiful. So many colors. Incredible. I was just saying to Danny, I just keep getting uh, this like rush of emotion just floating around here. It's incredible. I'm mm. literally, I feel like, yeah, it's that time that I want. Maybe leave the beer might here. Be the beer. <laughs> maybe yes. maybe leave the beer here if yeah. you go to the temple. Well, it's just a tea, is it? It's just tea. It's yeah. just tea. It's, just just tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in. Have a look around. Mr. Om is coming too. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, can you believe how big this Buddha is? Like just look at Mr. Om in comparison. He's just walking over there. I believe he's going to the bathroom and then wow. This Buddha is so beautiful, so big. And everything around here is very colorful, very special. Uh, it looks absolutely magnificent. Um, I think there's Luke coming as well. Hello. Hello. This is just How small do you feel? Crazy. It's like standing next to a skyscraper, but the skyscraper is Buddha. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. Absolutely massive. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Wow, check out the sunset now in the temple. It's so beautiful that I really am trying not to speak very loud because I don't want to disturb anybody, obviously, but wow. How special is this? I don't know where the others went. I'm currently looking for the others. But this is... So peaceful, so beautiful, my god. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. You okay? Oh, little kitty, huh? <laughs> so cute. Guys, hopefully this will give you an understanding of the sheer size. 69 meter tall Buddha statue out of this world. It is just so special. And the whole surrounding here, the gorgeous temple. There's not so many people here too, which is just so serene, so peaceful. This couldn't be any better right now. I think this is the best day that we've had so far in Bangkok, for sure. All right guys, so, Heading back now towards the boat. Continue the exploration. Let's do it. Alright guys, so the sun has set over Bangkok. We are in darkness and we actually went past the Water Run Temple so and it beautiful. was so beautiful. Oh my god. Lit up, absolutely gorgeous. And the party actually transformed into like a party boat. So we were blasting <laughs> some music and enjoying some nice cold beers. It was amazing. We're leaving all of the details uh, from the company that we took the stage trip with down below in the description. So make sure to reach out to them if you want to book a trip as well. It's super amazing. It was the most amazing time and such a special day mm. for us here in Bangkok. In absolutely. the back, back waters. Back waters. Back, 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 back waters. <laughs> out of this world guys give it a chance mm. if you are visiting bangkok check this place out but for now guys my name is luke my name is naomi we are the two mad explorers and this is your reminder to keep exploring see you guys in the next adventure Kong 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 for watching. Kong Kong Kong. bye bye see you soon